If you're intending to make the pencil case, then you're going to need to know the following two techniques I use. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to pick up stitches on this swatch. First, get some yarn. I'm going to use white instead of blue just so that you can see uh, the difference between them. Start with a slip stitch and put it on the hook. Next, uh, find the hole you want to start with. I'm going to start here. Stick the hook through and back up through the adjacent hole, the next hole. Now, you're going to yarn over and pull a loop through. And now you'll have two loops on the hook. And then we're going to yarn over again and pull through these two loops. And that is your first single crochet. Next, you're going to stick the hook through the second hole you used and follow the line to through the third hole. And again, you pull a loop through and pull oopsies through those two, and that is your second single crochet. And you can continue in this fashion. Here's the third one. Here's the fourth one. So however many single crochets you make, it will take up that number of stitches plus one in holes. Second thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to crimp an edge on this swatch, which is going to be used on the four corners of the TARDIS. First thing, uh, thread a yarn needle. I'm going to use white just to show you where the strand goes, but obviously use blue when you're doing it yourself. So I'm going to crimp an edge down the center of this swatch. So what I'm going to do is stick my needle through one of the holes near the middle and then out the adjacent one. And then go up one row and on the same column where this one came out of we're going to go enter back in and out the other side. Go away tail. And we are just going to continue doing this. You can fold the swatch or piece of yarn you were, you're crimping and just go back and forth. Back and forth and tighten as you go. When you get to the top, you will notice that it's created an edge, and this will be the corner of the TARDIS. But since we only went through once, you'll notice that the, uh, the edge sort of looks crimped, which is why I call it crimping. Uh, to make it a straighter edge, what we're going to do is we're going to go back the opposite way. So, right now, you can see that the white is alternating rows. We're going to go back and fill in where the white has not been yet. And then tie it off. and weave the loose ends into the TARDIS. But now you will see we have a very straight corner, straight edge. And that's how to do the corner of the TARDIS. Alright, see you next time. Bye!